You know, Jack, it was interesting, too, that they wanted to try to work out an extension. Clearly, they see something in Gray that they want to keep him around. And I bring that up because the trade that they made with the Dodgers brought in Alex Wood. He has one year left on his deal. Tanner Roark is their one-year deal. A lot of these one-year deals, almost as if they're kicking the tires, are these guys a fit or are they not going to be? But they put a lot of faith here with an extension to Gray. Right, and John talked about how his college pitching coach is there, so I'm sure he had a lot of input within the organization. And there were a lot of teams that were interested in Sonny Gray. You look at his road numbers, and we've talked about this. Yankee Stadium was the problem for him. On the road, he had an ERA of around three, so I think there are a lot of teams who looked at Sonny Gray and said, we can make something out of this guy. We can make help make this guy successful for us. Again, keep the ball down. He's going to a ballpark where that's an offensive ballpark, too, so we'll see how he fares there, but it just wasn't a fit for him in New York. I've mentioned this a couple times. I would talk to Austin Romine about Sonny Gray's stuff, and he would say, you have to see the movement he gets on his pitches. You have to see the late movement. It's unbelievable. I love catching him. Then you go out there, and, okay, you've got to be able to locate those pitches. You could have great movement, but if your pitches aren't going where they're supposed to be going, you're going to fail. That's what happened with Sonny Gray.